Good afternoon. Um, this is Tuesday, um, and we're back for one more show of the Neighborhood News. Remember that if you're watching this show and it's not uh, a Tuesday night, it's because you're watching a repeat show. So please come back next Tuesday, and we will have uh, a new show for you. Today, I don't have a guest. I, I, I don't think John is a guest anymore. He's, uh, he, he was pretty, mu pretty much the, um, the founder of this show um, with me, and every time that he's uh, around, he comes in and uh, he comes in and out. The door is always open. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> John, thank you again for stopping yeah. by and, um, and help me do the show today. Uh, this is the first show that we're having after elections. Yeah. Uh, big surprises for yeah. some people. Yeah. Um, some of the questions. Yes. Big surprises. Um, the su yes. Uh, and and um, surprises on city council election. No. Um, hey, wait a minute. Remember, I did I not tell you how it was going to run out for the city council? Yes. Yes, so, and it was no surprise for me. No, and and <laughs> matter of fact, I did post on Facebook. The the I did post it on Facebook that um, my prediction was all six were going to go back. Yep. Um, Leo was going to go back, yep. and and Kilby was going to go back, yep. and I was just debating between uh, Derek and Michelle. Yep. And I did give uh, Michelle uh, the pass because, and I explained this uh, on yesterday's show that I was a guest with Jean um, on doing Jean's show. The reason that I did that, um, I knew it was one of them, but the reason I gave Michelle the pass was number one, because Michelle had um, both people against and in favor of the mayor. Okay. He holded, he, she holded some friendship between the two groups. Um, and what I had it against Derek was the fact that um, because he was the nephew of uh, Carson Viveris, that he was kind <coughs> of counting on those votes. And, and I was thinking, uh, he was mayor 30 years ago, so probably a lot of those people already passed, yeah. so the votes are not there, and the new generation really don't know Carton Viveris. Yeah. So that's why I was kind of, yeah. you know, between both of them, I was leaning more to Michelle than, than Derek, and, um, and I was wrong, yeah. Yeah. you know? <laughs> I was I, wrong. I just, I took it as the name recognition Everybody knew that he was related to Carlton somehow, being mm -hmm. his nephew. Um, so to me, it was like a no-brainer. Mm. You know, if somebody's in there, just like any incumbent that it seems like runs again after a hiatus, is going to get back in because they have some supporters out there mm -hmm. um, that'll push them back in. So I, I was not surprised. Um, cause, I mean, because even look, um, Leo did some advertising. Brad Kilby did very little advertising, mm -hmm. um, and he got you know, right back in. And, and some of the incumbents didn't do a lot of advertising as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just get back in. So, and it and, and, you know. and seems like that uh, in every election, the seat nine, it's always hanging yeah. by a few hundred votes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It happened yeah. last time with Stephen Camara. Stephen yeah. Camara was the one hanging yeah. on those couple hundred votes. Yeah. Difference. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and this time he, he um, he went a little bit up and and uh, and yeah. was only but I, I said it from the beginning that r r really we only had one seat open yeah at the city castle yeah. and and that's what it came down to um, another thing that um, I was surprised and I was not surprised I was not surprised that the mayor went yeah. I was surprised by the difference of the votes that he win win. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was gonna be very tight, uh, and because it was gonna be tight, that Linda had a good chance. Yeah. But when, um, and I was there at City, at City Hall when the first two um, polls came in, yeah. and they didn't look good first, at right. first. When, when the North End comes in, 
um, you know that's an issue because that's where most of the voters are, mm -hmm. especially Tansy. I think that's one of the biggest precincts. So, mm -hmm. you know, but what, what is, y you never know how things go because it's mm -hmm. funny, that's the one, first one came, it's the biggest one, mm -hmm. but Linda had won that in the primary. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, you know what I mean? You just never know how these things go, and it, you know? And, and, and you know how you were saying you thought the mayor was going to win? It's like, I, di I really didn't know who was going to win mm -hmm. to a point because you just never know in this city mm -hmm. how things go. You know, I, I think you can pick out the city council there. That's pretty easy to pick out, but the mayor's race and even the school committee really surprised me this time. The school mm -hmm. committee really surprised me this time. Um, so, but you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't mean but, to interrupt but you. But yeah, uh, but very interesting things happen at this election. Number one was, um, and I was wrong again, and and when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I don't I don't I don't hang on my on yeah. on, on my words. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah. Another thing that I was very wrong was the fact that I was thinking the majority of people then went out to vote because was the first election because was not votes, there was no votes for city council. Yeah, exactly. So right there, kept people home. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, now, the way I'm thinking is, if the majority of the city council, and it's not a surprise, there was always 6-3, yeah. the majority of but the- it, But it didn't start out that way. Remember? Exactly, it didn't exactly. start out that way, yes. but I, I agree with but you. But the majority of the votes of, of the city councils didn't work well with the mayor. Yeah. The way I was thinking was, I cannot see people voting for six city councils that don't work with the mayor yeah. and vote for the mayor. Yeah. Yeah, and again, they proved me wrong, like you said. Yeah, can can go anyway. Yeah, it can, yeah, it can go anyway. I, I was I, I was a little surprised. And if you look at the stretch during the primary, I think it was like 700 votes. Mm -hmm. um, which is still pretty tight. And then you had the Cabaceres factor there of his 11 or 1,200 votes. Um, you know, I, I couldn't predict that they're gonna vote for the mayor because he was a separate candidate outside the mayor. So um, that was, you know, I, I, I agree with you. I thought it was gonna be very, very tight mm -hmm. the way you saw, you know, him having that vote. And I, I think even the mayor knew that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. he, he saw that there were 1,000 or 1,100 votes for Cabaceres and you're only 700 votes separating there, very, very tight race, you would think that would be. Mm -hmm. um, and, and again, like you said, there are a lot of councilors out there that there are people I can't see. If they supported Sean, or they supported this one, or the, you know, Steve Long, I, I, I couldn't see you know, someone that supports Steve Long is probably not gonna vote for Linda, you know, and maybe exactly. that's just my perception exactly. of it. And, and um, that's exactly what I yeah. was trying to, to picture and trying to, to, uh, to have like a, uh, a number yeah. that I could count yeah. and and total yeah totally yeah, totally off you know so like I said you can never predict it exactly <laughs> but another thing if that was not enough I got a I got another surprise was the questions that the mayor yeah voted no yeah yep on the charter right on the charter yeah. and and on the uh, uh, oh, on the, 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 sword? the money. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So the two questions that the vote the the mayor was public against to yeah. the people that vote for him yeah. voted against him yeah. on the questions. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's totally <laughs> totally off. Yeah. I, and I, I agree with you. Especially, uh, he did come out and say he was against that. Exactly. And it won overwhelmingly. And if you followed social media, it seemed like it was not gonna win mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, nobody was saying they were gonna vote for it. But it's funny, because election day, I was talking to different folks and uh, talking about the, the charter question and how they were gonna vote. And the majority of people I talked to said they were gonna vote yes on it, or they already had voted yes on it, you mm -hmm. know? So you, you just never know. I guess if you look at that wall, small segment of things, all those small segment of people, it doesn't mean that they're the whole city of Fall River. Mm -hmm. you know? So, um, but you know, it, it, it's true. You just never know how people are thinking, you know? And um, you know, they probably look at it differently than, you know, this council I think is doing a good job. It doesn't matter who, you know I mean? They're getting along with better. Um, they're doing a good job, so. Mm -hmm. um, you know. um, 
the day after election, um, one thing that I was um, on Facebook was this movement that the city w is against women. Do, do you see that? You, well, to be honest with you, I didn't go on Facebook for like four or five days <laughs> afterward, to be honest with you, because you had kind you know, of I just need to have, <laughs> I needed to have some kind of like peace for four or five days because, it, you know what I mean, it's just mm -hmm. all this stuff going on. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, I look at the city, at the school committee race specifically, because um, uh, the city council, it was only Pam and uh, Michelle Dion, right, that ran um, off of city council? City council, yeah. yes, I so, believe so. So there was only the two, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to give that sort of a pass. But, but on, on the, the school, school committee, it was yeah, a... You had was Christine a, Garvin, you had Amy Blanchett. Amy is very well known now. Um, I know Crystal Stone is not as known, but I have seen things and you know mm -hmm. I liked what she had to say she was a very mm -hmm. intelligent uh, yes. young lady had a little kid married um, so I think you know and her kids gonna be going into school so I think she had something mm -hmm. to bring to the table same with Amy having a child in the school system um, I, I, you know I don't know I mean I I'd like to think as someone that has a daughter I would like to think that we all have the same chance mm -hmm. uh, sometimes maybe some of these things are at the back of people's minds um, but I mean, I voted for a few of the women that were on the school committee, so mm -hmm. um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's totally that, um, mm -hmm. but uh, there's some people that probably say it maybe, but I, I think it would be more of something in the back of your mind that you mm -hmm. probably yeah. wouldn't vote I, for. I, that, I, I really, uh, I don't think that the intent was uh, just to discriminate women. No. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think the intent of the voter was that, uh, I think the voter just vote uh, what they thought that was going to serve better. Yeah. And on that case was um, because if you look at the list, yeah. it's every name is already recognized. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what in the is. city, you yeah. know. So it's it, it was like people that were running for the first time. Yeah. Um, and and they all got in and. The, the, the girls names okay, yeah. would be a difference. But I think that everybody that got in is names recognized already in the city. Yeah. Um, either they run before or they, they very recognized in the school department, yeah. you know, at yeah. some point. Um, well, so that's, that's why I was, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't see the city as discriminating woman. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's just the opinion of the voters that they think that the best qualified people, um, yeah. it, it's, I mean, that's who's going to win. The school committee and the city council race a lot of times is a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. the, the new people that got in, um, like you said, you know, they're very well known. And, and there, are, you know, there are a few people that got in and I think are going to do an awesome job. Mm -hmm. um, I would just like to see uh, more folks that have kids in the school system mm -hmm. there. I know we have um, a few, but I would have liked to have seen the people that left replaced with folks that have children in the school system. I think that's really, really important mm -hmm. uh, to have some. I'm not saying everybody should be in there, but I think at least half of the folks sitting on there should have children in the system. I think they, got, they have a lot to give, a lot of input to give and um, you know, to straighten out some of these things. Yeah, you know. I mean, on the school, on the school committee, um, I think should be uh, people that in any way are um, involved on the process. Yeah. It's involved either they have kids in school or, or somehow they, they teach in yeah. school, yeah. so they yeah. have the insides of, yeah, of the system. Yep, exactly, And And so they can bring that uh, uh, um, recognition or that work into the meetings, yeah. into their own decisions, yeah. because they know, you know, the, the inside problems. But, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, there were folks that were there. I, you know, I look at Amy. I mean, I know Amy, you know Amy. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I'm probably a little bit biased, but you have a young lady there that's a single mom um, going to school has a son. Um, I, I think we have a population, we have a decent sized population mm -hmm. that are single parents in mm -hmm. the city. So I think they have a lot to give and a lot of input they could give with this. So I, I would have liked to have seen 
her mm -hmm. in there. Um, but and, you know. and, and again, and, and Amy, uh, I, and I should be the last person to talk <laughs> about Amy too, because <laughs> yeah. since, I, I, since I know Amy, uh, you know, uh, we serve in a couple of different boards together. Um, I, I know Amy, uh, I know the kids, and I know the problems that the kid has in school, and all the, the troubles that, uh, that Amy had to go through. Uh, for the kids to to move on and and to stay in school. Yeah, yep. But w with that being said, Amy um, goes up to Boston and defends and 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 try to speak in behalf of the students. Um, it's not the first time that she she posted on Facebook her yeah. speeches yeah. at the at the state house, yeah. uh, trying to advocate for 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 students yeah. for any for yeah. any student not not just for uh, uh, for low grades yeah. but yeah. Um, and herself they graduated here from BCC last year yeah. move move on with her education and s attending uh, um, uh, Matt, UMass yeah. uh, right now she's going for the gold she's yeah. she's not she didn't settle with the silver yeah. she's going for the gold <laughs> and she wants her masters yeah. and and I, I wish that she she can get it because she's a go get it yeah. she's a very hard working person yeah. and I think uh, that she will be a, a perfect person to serve on this board but I have to say that was her first time running. Yeah, that's, yeah. She didn't had a big budget. Yeah, yeah. Only a few friends that donate some money for her to to yeah. to make some signs and yeah. and 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 put it out there. And believe it or not, she kept the eight. Yeah. So from the first yeah. uh, from the first election yeah. to the second, which is a great achievement. Yeah. For for Amy. Yeah, no, it's good. So I, maybe next time, you know what I mean? And next time, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that she has a very good chance yeah. to to, uh, to get there. Um, on the questions, uh, yes, on the uh, on the charter, so it was... I, I, I mean, I, I personally, I think the, the, the whole sewer issue was a no-brainer. Um, nobody wants to pay more. We don't want to do that, but... If we're going to get sued eventually, and you know, I know right, some folks were saying, well, with Trump, with the EPA, uh, he might kind of, you know, do something. Well, nothing's got through Congress right now or the mm -hmm. Senate so far. So I mean, I don't. And hold I think a lot of I think that the reason that the mayor um, uh, took the position that he took, I think he's, he's hoping yeah. that something's going to come out of, you yeah, know, nationally that. yeah, that's going to help us yeah, here locally. Yeah. And but it's only an if. Yeah, I, I, you know. I, it is. It's an if. I mean, it's if they approve that. Depends on who, you know, has the most muscle up there down at Capitol Hill to get this going here. So um, I, I, I thought it was a known brainer, and it mm -hmm. looks like it was because most people voted. The charter, I was surprised, but it depends on what take you have with the charter. I mean, I guess... You know, one thing I kept on hearing about the charter was that the mayor can serve on all the committees. You know, it, it, you know. Let's face it. In Fall River, we know what happens. A lot of times, it happens. It, it I'm sure it's happened under this administration mm -hmm. and others. That if you know, if there's something they want to get through, I'm sure they're going to call and say, "Hey, you know, what I mean, this is what I want to get through." So I, I don't think that was a big issue. Um, I think that there was a plus in that. That any time they um, select someone that's on a board has to go before the city council. Mm -hmm. So I, I think with that, it's gonna probably, it, it's gonna have to lend to more cooperation between the mayor and that, because if you wanna get your people through, you gotta cooperate a little mm -hmm. bit here. So um, so I think that's a positive. And, uh, and there was a, f a few things there too on a charter that, that I, I have said from, from the beginning that I have no problem with people needed to get more signatures to run for office. Yeah. Yeah, to me, it, it's been, people that are running is just doing it because they want to have fun and they want to open the paper and see their pictures <laughs> on the paper. So g guess what? If you really are serious about running for office, yeah. your commitment should be day one. And the first commitment that you have to show me is go knock on doors, not bring the paper to a party <laughs> and, and get 50 signatures yeah, in a yeah. party. Yeah. Your commitment to me that you're serious, that you want to serve me, yeah. 
is you're going to knock on doors and you're going to get those signatures, 100, 200, whatever. Yeah. Now, uh, with that being said, <clears throat> I don't think it's taking rights from them, but again, it, 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 it's only my opinion. Yeah. The truth is, and that's what I'm being told, is that the state rules, the state charter rules over the city charter. Oh. Huh. So if that's the case, uh, right now under the new charter, and it's too bad that Mike Mayosa could not be here. I, I did invite her to come here to, to answer a couple of questions that, that I had, is uh, the fact that um, right now under the new charter, I think you are allowed to go public speaking in front of the committees without being the, 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 the issue being- Invited, on, right? On, on, on the agenda yeah, yeah. because right now if you go and you want to use your public speaking time but if it's to talk about something that it's not on the charter it's not on the agenda you yeah. cannot do it yeah. under the new charter that it's open to you yeah. but if the state charter rules they still can serve me with the 30a yeah. and not allow me to talk yeah yeah, no, yeah I, you know I, what I'm saying. Yeah, I, so that's why I mean I have a few questions of, 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 about this. Even that passed. Another question was uh, that I had for him is um, when one of the, uh, the sh one show uh, he came up, he came on to my show a couple of times, and one thing that he said was nothing. Even if this passes, nothing's going to take effect until a year or two down the road, yeah. okay? So that's, and I that probably can, can roll back a yeah. couple of shows and see if, if I'm correct or not. But I, I, I'm, I'm not 100% uh, 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 sure, but I think that's what he said. Yeah. Now my question is, that's what's on the radio, yeah. that's where it's everywhere. As soon as the, the, the votes are, yeah. uh, you know, uh, yeah. si uh, uh, certified, that's it, the yeah. charter gets it in effect. Well, I, what I can't figure out is why can they not go back to the um, consultants that they had that have done this in other communities? I would think that'd be a simple answer for them. You know I mean? When mm -hmm. does this take effect? Um, I, I was kind of surprised it was right away um, because if you have somebody running, and I, I believe that was uh, Josh Hetzler that uh, was yes. elected in the school committee. So you're running for office um, but you don't know if something's going to pass. So I guess you're not supposed to run. So you, you really couldn't get in at that time. It, it, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that you, I, and I guess some people are saying, well, if there's a chance that you couldn't get in, um, you wouldn't have ran. But it, you know what I mean? It just doesn't say, make sense that it happens at that same time mm -hmm. because of things like people running like, um, like Josh did. So. Um, I would think it would be like a year or two later as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I would think, like I said, those consultants are ones doing because this. Because right now, right now we have the city, uh, we have the city um, uh, law department looking uh, and to make a decision, yeah. which I, it's going to be an opinion. Yeah. It's, I, it's not a decision. I, I don't yeah. think he. I, I don't think he should even be involved, to be honest with you. I think if they went back to those consultants, and got, you know, because this isn't their first rodeo, the consultants, they've done this. What have other folks done in the past? And there's precedence for it, at least in another community. So, I, I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't really think uh, Judge Macy. And I don't think, I think we have to pay another $40,000 no, for that question. No, they should be able question. to tell us that. I mean, and Judge Macy did say, I don't know why I'm doing this, which I agree with him. Mm -hmm. you, know, this, you know, this is something that should have been worked out when this, you know, went mm -hmm. through. And I, I think maybe a simple phone call or asking other communities that did this, what did you do? Because um, at the end of the day, I think the, the way this is going to be fight, yeah. uh, you know, and either this either gonna, he's going to go to court yeah. for sure. It's yeah. another another day in court with Fall yeah. River, which is not, <laughs> it's nothing new for us. So we go to court, you know, like uh, we go down to Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> and buy a coffee. But uh, the thing is, whatever is going to come up, the answer that is going to come up, they they want to fight as that's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah that's all. And, and, it's and, only and, an opinion. And you know what? They could probably come back and say, "What experience do you have?" You know, to the corporation council, "What experience do you have in this kind of, you know, uh, area?" 
mm -hmm. and, and he really doesn't have, and that's not anything against him, it's just that's not the case. So I don't know why we wouldn't be looking toward that area to say, consultants, show us what has happened in the past, and we could go on that as a precedence that other communities in the Commonwealth have done it. So I, I, I don't yeah, know, I yeah. think it's just, it, you know, it's something really I think the Charter Commission should reconvene and talk about instead of, you know what I mean, throwing that. Because what happens if the Charter Commission doesn't agree with some of the stuff that um, the Corporation Council says? Then what do we have? Another fight mm -hmm. <laughs> between that. So I, I think they're independent. They should have, y they should make that decision from what's been precedent, wh what's been precedent. And, the and, I, um, I, and it's too bad that we don't, I had another issue that I would like to talk to you sure. and it's the bike pad. We're not gonna have time for this show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the bike pad, I think we have another, another. we yeah. still, we still not yeah. clear we're not, we're not on, there on the, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not. not there. And then we're probably gonna um, leave that for, for our next show. Um, from, and I did this before, um, Wednesday, when I was a guest in a different show. Um, I just want to congratulate every winner of, the, uh, uh, of this last election, uh, from, from the mayor down to the city council and school committee. Um, I want to congratulate them. Um, in democracy, the majority wins, yes, yeah, and absolutely. the majority rules. And what I have to say is, uh, now don't complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you yeah, <laughs> you got did. what you asked yeah. for, and, and the 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 the, uh, the small group. We're just gonna, you know, yeah. like keep up. Else. You move on. You, know, well, you, you move, move on, on uh, and, and and then something. The the day will the sun will come out on the next day. Exactly. Again. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah, know, and that and I think that's what we have to do. But I think. You know, with any like federal re um, election, you hear this all the time, the president saying, I'm the president for everybody. I, 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 th I would like to hear the mayor come out and say that now, that he's here, he's the mayor for everybody here. Even if people didn't support him, he's the mayor. And I mean, as a citizen, I want him to succeed because if he succeeds, all of us are. Mm -hmm. This isn't the first time anybody said it. I didn't make this up, but we want this. I, you know, you don't want to see the mayor and you know, w with FROED and court and all this, I, I don't want to see that. I want this to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, you're the mayor for everybody. I think you're in now, you are our mayor, but you know. And I again, we're not going to agree with everything. We're no. never going to be on the same side with everything. Absolutely. But guess what? It doesn't matter which side you are, we only have one thing in common, and it's the best for the city. Exactly. So if we, on, the, on both ends, even if we don't agree with it, but if we all have the same intent and is the battle of the city, it's no way that it's, we should not um, uh, uh, have any reasons not to work together and, and move on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. John, thank you again. It was one more neighborhood news and uh, Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Have a good night.